What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed. That means two things, either you're new or you're returning. And hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today. The new goal for this channel is 400 thousand subscribers and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button i can feel it rising i can feel it oh, keep hitting the subscribe button keep doing it one day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers so hit that subscribe button today What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here being another reaction. And today we're channel a video that's called Why Did Prototype Kill Catnav? Now, if you haven't watched or played Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, well spoiler alert, but why'd you click on this video? Uh but anyways, we're here to check out this theory video. Now, this is by a channel I've not watched before. Uh this was recommended to me in some comments. Uh Poppy Theory. So this uh, this is a pretty new looking channel, I think. But with this video getting almost 2 million views, definitely had to check this one out because honestly, it is a good question. Why did Prototype kill Catnap? Because yes, he got injured, but he wasn't completely defeated at the end of the game. And also, if you guys want to see my reaction to the entirety of the game, the, the streams are still available on this channel. And if you want a highlight video of those streams, because it roughly took me about six hours to play through the entire game, uh, in two streams, basically. I did one two-hour stream and one four-hour stream. So, But if you guys don't want to watch every single thing, you just want to see the meat and, and the best parts of those streams, then check out the highlight video on my secondary channel. And subscribe there, too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show my support by subscribing and liking the original video. Link down below. And if you guys have other suggestions, other videos, another video I still need to go tackle is... Uh, Super Horror Bros uh, theory video or breakdown video of the game. And, of course, whenever Matt Pat, if he does do it before he leaves. Uh, but in, gen in general, just the next game theory video on uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. It's got to come out soon, I feel like. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to check this out, see how this theory video does. And if there's more videos on this channel you guys want me to check out, let me know down below. Show your support. Hit the like and subscribe on my channel as well. And also, just so that you guys know, recently I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen. If you're a fan of that anime and you guys want to see my reaction to it, check the link down below for my OnlyFans page. Yes, I have an OnlyFans page. Uh, I use it for anime reactions like people do for with like Patreon. I just don't care for Patreon. I didn't like Patreon. And I set up the OnlyFans. I just use it. And if you click on my link, don't worry. Absolutely nothing 18 plus on that page. So you can feel like it's a safe link. It's fine. There's nothing bad with it. Um, but anyways, let's get into this and check out this video. Once again, let's get into it. Why did the prototype kill Catnap? After rerouting the counselor's office's backup power to the statue, Ollie gives the player okay. the final battery required to power the gas production zone. And after True. being placed, red smoke fills the room while Catnap chases the player. The player then enters. And also it fills the room super fucking fast. Choose the safe room and is required to fend off catnap for five minutes constantly as he toys with the player. And upon reaching five minutes, a green grab pack hand receiver overcharges and the player utilizes this to eliminate catnap at the sacrifice of the green hand. While catnap does not die yeah. from the player's actions, he's seen kneeling before the prototype's presence. And just when we thought that... Yeah, it's more like he, he got damaged, but he wasn't dead or dying but he had just accepted the prototype thought of him as it's time for you to be sacrificed for something greater the prototype was going to help him he ends up brutally killing catnap and taking his body now why does this happen it's been said by ollie that catnap treats the prototype as a god in catnap's eyes the prototype is a superhero and has saved this place so catnap treats him like a god killing everyone that opposes him 
and we can even see him engaging in some type of prayer with an amalgamation of toys and parts in Playcare Caravans, which is likely in devotion to the prototype. Not to mention the fact that the yeah. soul inside of Catnap, also known as Theodore Granbell, was an orphan inside of Playcare and was already influenced by the prototype as he gained notoriety among the staff for his connection to an imaginary friend who seemed to encourage him to sabotage Playtime Co. In the chapter 3 interaction, oh, wow. Wow. ARG, Theodore's drawing depicted him in purple, sitting on his bed while a skeletal arm emerged from underneath. This drawing Okay, this is information I'm not aware of. I'm strongly suggested that Theodore's imag- I'll have more information, especially when I watch some of the other things, other videos that people have been recommending me. Imaginary companion was experiment 1006, or the prototype so mm -hmm. if catnaps and we still have only seen really an arm devotion to the prototype dates all the way back to before he was even a toy then why did he end up being killed by the person he devoted his life to well that brings me to my first theory which honestly makes the most sense and i'm gonna say that this was because catnap failed in killing us let's think about the ending of the game for a second let's say that we didn't end up damaging catnap and he ended up killing us right then and there would it have made sense for the prototype to come down and kill him still from the prototype's perspective catnap was given multiple chances to complete his objective as in the beginning of the game instead of just ripping us to shreds he throws us down into a trap that is true. This was such an odd moment too. Flash compactor, which we managed to escape from. While we're in home sweet home, Catnap is seen stalking us from the shadows. Now, it's not... Yeah, that uh, uh, people pointed that out for me. ...clear whether or not... I didn't see that fucking creepy-ass bitch stalking me in this area. And dear God, that area was terrifying. Catnap popping up was due to the hallucination, but if it wasn't, he failed in killing us there as well. Even if Catnap wasn't there during the hallucination, we're still passed out on the floor in the real world, so he could have easily taken care of us there. But then again, we don't know if we passed out and then had the hallucination, or we were awake the whole time and our perception of reality was just being manipulated. Also, when we the player are sent to the counselor's office by Ollie to restore power, Catnap emerges from the gas and knocks us into some type of dream state. So, at the end of the game, when the prototype sees that Catnap has failed yet again in killing us, it decides to just change plans and realizes that Catnap is not of use to him anymore. But what if Catnap kneeling to the prototype is an act of acceptance? Which leads me to my second theory. Catnap understands that he has failed and submits to the prototype, putting all of his trust into him and allowing himself to be a part of him. With the prototype's plan, I could see that being the case. That for Catnap, uh, yeah, I could see that like accepting and being okay with him killing him so that he could be part of the prototype. Being to make himself and Catnap stronger in the end game. Now, what do I mean a part of him? Well, if you remember what happened back in chapter two, after surviving mm -hmm. Mommy Long Leg, Mommy was uh, terrified, not of death, but the fact that after she dies, He's going to make a, he, her a part of him. He's rigged hide and seek game and just barely escaping into a nearby room. The player then traps mommy long legs in a grinder and activates the lever brutally killing her but after this a mysterious claw-like hand appears from the bottom of the partially closed door and drags mommy's severed torso into the dark before the door to the right opens and the player is let back into the game station but listen to what mommy long legs says as she's being killed <laughs> Now, judging by the few... Yeah, she's not afraid of dying. She's afraid of being used after she's gone to become a part of him. Glimpses of prototype that we see, that being his claw, it's pretty safe to assume that this thing probably doesn't have the right type of body to do everything himself, which is why he has catnap and a bunch of other toys under his command. And him dragging away mommy long legs after her death is probably because he plans to use her attributes to turn himself into this undefeatable monster. But this is most likely his solution to if the other toys fail to kill us. But if they succeed, they get to 
roam around as normal. Now, going back to Catnap, I'm led to believe there's a chance that he would still be okay with the prototype killing him, even if he was informed of this before it happening. As again, Catnap sees the prototype as his god, and if the prototype told Catnap that he's doing it to save everyone, or told him that he's going to be rebirthed into something far greater, I don't think that he would fight back at all. But I can agree with that statement. Now for my third theory, which includes me still thinking that the prototype still killed Catnap due to him failing to kill us. But I think that the prototype already planned on doing this, but seeing that we were still alive caused a change of plans. If we were to stick to the theory that the prototype doesn't have the right body to do what he wants, then he would obviously either need assistance from the other toys or he would need part of their body altogether. And judging by what he's already done with Mommy Longlegs, it it's pretty safe to assume that he won't have the toys a part of his plans the entire time. I'm led to believe that Catnap, along with some of the other toys being under Prototype's command, is temporary, and in the end, he'll kill them off and use their parts to make him stronger. So if Catnap did succeed yeah. in killing us, there might all these theories are solid. Might have been a chance that the prototype would either still kill him because he finished his objective and the prototype doesn't need him as an individual anymore, or he would prepare him for some type of merging process later on to where he's still able to use his parts. But perhaps in the next chapter, we'll be able to get an answer on why this happened. Because if you think about it, if the prototype didn't pop up at the end of chapter three, we would have most likely still been killed by Catnap despite us fighting back. As right after the flame subside and catnaps yeah in this position we lost one of our hands and we had no way to really defend ourselves. everything else was uh turned off sees the prototype he gets up and starts to pray to him as nothing happened so in a weird way the prototype saved us from being killed by catnap and we might even get to see what he's been doing with all the deceased toys who knows he could be putting himself together with huggy wuggy's teeth mommy long legs his long limbs and now catnap's gas or more specifically his respiration system as that's where the gas comes from but let me know down in the comments why you think the prototype killed catnap thanks for watching subscribe and click on this video right here mm, Ooh, who attacked kissy missy uh definitely most likely was probably the prototype or frankenstein version of huggy wuggy i don't know but we'll find out when in the future uh, whenever chapter four drops most likely so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this uh shout out to people who recommended this video this was actually a really good one i think the theories are solid uh if you have other videos you want me to check out from this channel or any other channel uh, especially with ones that are doing really well on the uh, with the community of poppy playtime let me know about them and i'll try to check them out as soon as i possibly can and if you guys enjoyed this kind of content and you guys want more of it you know what to do show your support on this channel by subscribing and liking and check out all the other content available on the channel right now. So after this video is over, hopefully you go check out more of my videos. Till next time, later!